Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, the U.S. Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. And since the first Friday of every month is the day when we honor the Sacred Heart of Jesus, I'd like to share with you some ideas about how you might unite both these traditions in your prayer. The heart is a universal symbol for love, so it's no surprise that Jesus would appear at times in history and reveal his heart. Back in the 1600s, Jesus appeared to St. Margaret Mary when she was praying in front of the Blessed Sacrament. His heart seemed to be on fire, and Jesus told her that he couldn't keep his love to himself, that he couldn't keep back the pent-up flames of love in his heart. In fact, one of the invocations in the Litany of the Sacred Heart goes like this, Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity, have mercy on us. Now, imagine for a moment placing a deceased relative or friend or even an enemy into the heart of Jesus. The fire of that heart is love, but it burns away all that is not worthy of God, all that the deceased person carried with him or her into the next life, all the residue of sin, all the unfinished business of life. In St. Peter's first letter in the New Testament, we hear that our faith is more precious than gold, which is purified by fire. So, if our faith, our hope, our love, our very lives have not become purified and perfect by the time we die, they will be made so in the next life. It's the burning love in the heart of Jesus that will make us perfect. So take a moment today to consciously place the souls of deceased people you know into the heart of Jesus, that burning furnace of charity.